Episode 2, The Bank. The situation comedy takes place in the Hamptons, Long Island, New York. Eight. A few weeks later. At the bank. Bank teller. Number 35. A woman comes forward holding her ticket with a smile. A large crowd. Later, the teller. Another man. 78. Another man steps forward. You didn't call 73. Mrs. Mombi walks in wearing a biker outfit. Mark. Mother, where did you get all those tattoos? Mrs. Mombi. At a party. Never mind that. How's it all going? Later, Mrs. Mombi at home on the Chesterfield. Mrs. Mombi. Mark. So how did it all go? You and I are improvising as total strangers outside. Mrs. Mombi continues. Get yourself a girlfriend and play little secrets. Mark. Mother, it wasn't that. It's, well, your sideburns. Mrs. Mombi. Well then, was he round? So you've met him. Mark, have I met who? Mrs. Mombi, now I told you to stop playing coy with me. Get your own sideburn. Mark, I don't want my own sideburn, Mum. Mrs. Mombi, well that's a relief. Your sister, father, and I always wondered about you. Mrs. Mombi continued, and if you do want one, remember, you can't have mine. Mark, it's the new hairstyle, Mum. I wish you'd have got your, oh, pardon me. It's the new hairstyle, Mum. Whatever you call the two little pieces on each side. A few of the female customers were giggling about them. Mrs. Mombi standing up. I wish you'd have got your I wish you have got your I wish you'd have got yourself married instead of your sister. We could have had girls' night out when I'm not with. Mrs. Mombi continues. Tall, dark, and handsome. Mark. Who's tall, dark, and handsome? Mrs. Mombi. I'll tell him you said that, and you'll never meet him again. I want you out. Mrs. Mombi leaves the room. Mrs. Mombi's son-in-law to Mark. Son-in-law. What did you do getting rid of Mum's boyfriend? Mark. What? Who told you that? Did Beryl say that? Son-in-law. Mum's upstairs crying her heart out over sideburns she call, over sideburns she calls him they must have been close to have a pet name for one another your sister Beryl and I never share those sorts of intimacies Mrs. Mommy coming to the top of the stairs liar Sonny he's a liar he He's never called or been since Mark scared him off. Mark, at least I know what the bee is under her bonnet. We've eaten dinner in silence for a week. Flashback, them eating dinner in silence. We've eaten dinner in silence for a week till you came. Mark continued, bought these flowers to cheer mum up. Didn't know what it was. Mrs. Mommy coming down the stairs. He's jealous of my happiness. Are they extra stem long roses? Are they, are they extra long stem roses? Bought these flowers to cheer mother up. 
didn't know what it was. Mrs. Marmy coming down the stairs. He's jealous of my happiness. Are they extra long stem roses? Sonny to Mark under his breath. Can you spare a few for the anniversary? Mark takes a few, uh, Sonny takes a few stems. Mark, how is Beryl? I'm sure it'd be easier getting the governor to say 319. I guess that was something they were pausing in the time in California. Sonny, Beryl's still getting your legs back from our little spin around the Mediterranean. Middle of the night, Mrs. Mombey tapping Mark's door. Mrs. Mombey, it's me, Mark. You never came in to say good night. Mark, Mum, I didn't think you were talking to me. Mrs. Marby, you could have said good night, Mum. Don't you love me anymore? Mrs. Marby and Mark sitting downstairs drinking a cup of coffee or tea in the middle of the night. Mark, I've got to go to work in the morning, Mum. Mrs. Marby, do you have to go in? We could take a stroll in the park, feed the ducks, just like the old days. Mark, Mom, that was 40 years ago. Mrs. Marmby, doesn't time fly? Mark looks at the sunrise. Mark in the office, Mrs. Marmby in bed. Speaking to Ms. his mother on the phone later. Mark, when you win the other day, you never ticked the box plastic or paper. Mrs. Mombi, can't you double bag it for me? Vera always does at the supermarket. Mark, Mom, it's the hundred dollars in your account or a gift card. Mrs. Mombi smiling. And what's my variable rate? Mark. 30% mother, customers in the bank, six month CD, one eighth of a percent, whatever happens to will beat any rate in town to give you the best return. Later, someone complaining. It's going to repeat this part here. Mom. Mark, Mom, it's the hundred dollars in your account or gift card. Mrs. Mom be smiling. And what's my variable rate? Mark, 30% mother. Customers in the bank. Customer. Six months CD, one eighth of a percent. Whatever happened to? We'll beat any rate in town to give you the best return. Then you see two hitmen polishing off the last bank manager with higher rates from another bank. You're sort of getting rid of them in a nice sort of way. After the two men receive their pay from Amanda. Amanda's photo is put up in the bank for employee of the month. Amanda photo on the bank wall, employee of the month. Albert walks by, looks at the photo, then to his secretary. Miss Amanda Blake will be dining with me today. She has some panoramic stills of the Canadian Rocky she's been promising to show me. You know, he says sort of in an innocent way. So there's voices behind the dining room door. You hear Albert. How, may, how many are those, fi are those fig leaves? Giggle, Amanda. Maple leaves, Albert, all three of them, a few days later. 